So in this video, I'm gonna show you which products added beneficial minerals like magnesium and potassium, and how others introduced things like aluminum, arsenic, lithium, and boron, all above conservative benchmarks that prioritize human health. To choose which remineralization methods to test, we looked at what real people are actually using. We spent time reading through online discussions, especially on forums like Reddit, where people share their routines for adding minerals back to distilled or RO water. Across hundreds of comments, the same suggestions came up again and again. Add salt, fresh lemon juice, or use liquid trace mineral products created specifically for this purpose. So we decided to prioritize the six most talked about and widely used methods. Pink Himalayan salt mixed as a saturated brine, often called sole water, Celtic sea salt prepared the same way, fresh lemon juice added directly to the water, Concentrase trace mineral drops, Aussie trace minerals, and Anderson's CMD trace mineral drops. These represent a wide range of natural and supplement-based approaches people seem to use most often to remineralize purified water, from simple pantry ingredients to purpose-made liquid minerals. 